About one week, a solar eclipse will take place, putting parts of our country and others in total darkness in the middle of the day. Newswatch 16's Jeremy Lewan will have a unique viewpoint on his journey brought aboard a cruise ship. He explains as he climbs aboard. In just a few days, we're all going to be looking up. But hopefully we have better weather than this because we just boarded the MS Zondam. This is not just any cruise. This is an eclipse cruise from San Diego to Mexico. On this sold out cruise, mom and I will be some of the first people on the planet to witness the great American total solar eclipse of 2024. On board, world renowned scientists are set to present cutting edge astronomical and planetary research during the cruise. This is something my colleagues and I in the science community have been preparing for for years. Now with the eclipse just a few days away, I'll be breaking down every everything you need to know about the celestial event so that you can be prepared too. The cruise will travel through the Mexican Riviera, but will be docked directly off the coast of Mazatlan for the eclipse. Mazatlan is a key city along the path of totality. It is the first place on the North American mainland that will experience totality. The moon's inner shadow, or umbra, makes contact with land first here. It is one of the locations along the eclipse path with the lowest likelihood of clouds on April 8th. The ship will place us in 4 minutes and 26 seconds of totality, just 2 seconds shy of the maximum duration available anywhere along the eclipse path. The closer to the center line of the totality band that you can position yourself, the longer time you can spend in totality. For comparison, Syracuse will spend 1 minute and 27 seconds in darkness. Rochester, Erie, and Buffalo will experience totality for about 3 minutes and 40 seconds, clouds permitting, of course. Stay tuned for more eclipse updates aboard the Zondam. Jeremy Lewan, Newswatch 16, San Diego, California.